Hello everyone, I hope you had a nice Christmas and enjoy the rest of your holidays. The new year is coming up and a lot of you will be going back to school or university. But what will come after that? You will be starting your life as an employee and I wanted to help you getting started. We are all gamers and if you spend a lot of your time gaming there is le less space for a job experience. The most of you watching this video go to school, college or university. So you have like little to no job experience like I did. I was really nervous and shy. I wanted to make it easier for you to do join the world of employment because I'm also a gamer. I'm 24 years old and I have a bachelor's degree that I'm not using right now. I decided to switch the branch from science to informatics or more precisely to being a developer. But why I did that is a topic for another video. So the only job experience I had to this moment was a job at a famous fast food chain. So that's not so useful when I'm applying for a developer job. I also had little to no programming experience, so I, I was basically a noob. But these things are not so important as you would think. The employer wants other attributes, attributes that are useful to the company. And I have a good message for you. You have them, I have them. So let's answer the main questions. Can I use my competitive experience in gaming to apply for a job? Yes, I can. Now, I play a lot of Overwatch Ranked and I used to play a lot of Ranked in League of Legends. But what do these games have in common? They are team-based games. And teamwork is an important attribute in today's world of employment. In early 2017, I applied for a developer's job at a company size 1000 employees. And I got invited to the assessment center, where I had my first job interview. Now, if you don't know what an assessment center is, it's basically a day where they invite all the people who applied for a job to see if these people are illegal for this job. And they do the job interviews and written exams. And they start asking you these typical job interview questions. Now, they try to ask me about one of these important attributes. And it's best if you have some kind of experience or story that you can tell to that attribute. And teamwork is a common question in job interviews. Now let's get back to our starting point. I had little to no job experience. I had no useful degree for that job. And I even dropped the first semester of computer science in university. So the only situation I had in my mind to tell them was my ranked experience in Overwatch. So Overwatch is a game where teamwork is really, really important. So first I explained to my interviewer the different roles they had in Overwatch, like the tank to soak up the damage, the damage dealer to deal damage, and the healer to support. And my role was support. I main Anna. Now you com can compare all these roles that you have in Overwatch with roles that you have in your company. So I told the interviewer that my teamwork displays best when I'm supporting with Anna. So I told her I'd try to be in psych or in range of my tank so I can heal him. And so if a tank is not in your psych, Anna can't heal him because she shoots these healing darts. And if my tank is behind a wall, I can also not heal him. Then she asked me, what if, you, if my tank moves away and I can't reach him? I had this problem a lot. And now I have to make her understand how much I have grown in my experience. And I told her to solve this problem, I started using voice chat, because I never used voice chat before. And now since I started using it, I was able to communicate with my team. So I not only became a team player by being support, I also used communication. And that is the second operator of what I want to give you, communication. I was a really shy person, and a shy person is not illegal before a company to work in because teamwork like if you work as a developer you always work in a team things can't be done alone everybody has to take a part of the work and you have to make your part work too and that's only reachable by use by communicating so you have to show the company that you are ready to grow and adapt especially if you are a beginner and you don't have to be scared to talk about gaming I mean, in the developer branch, most of them have gaming as a hobby or were former gamers. The company I applied to even had their conference rooms named after games. 
So what I wanted to tell you was that you can use this experience you've made in your games, might it be Overwatch, League of Legends, Counter-Strike, PUBG or whatever game you play, that you can show them that you have these important attributes. And I think each one of you has his own th circle of friends. I play League of Legends every week with my friends on Discord and we meet up as a team of five and go to the and we play some draft pick. So we as a gamer community are practicing these skills every day. So you don't have to be shy anymore. So you don't need to think that you are not ready for this job because you actually are. In the end I didn't get the job due to the written exam and the assessment center. But the feedback I got was so valuable, giving me so much self-confidence. And she said I did really good on the interview. After this I had a lot more interviews and kept getting better and better and talking until I had even fun doing these. In summer 2017 I finally got a job offer, even two. And today I work as a developer and I'm really happy about this. The company is so nice and the and my mentor is so nice to me. Like I can ask him anything about the topic that I'm learning. And he just sits right beside me. I really have the feeling that I'm learning something there. And I could have sit in university for five more years doing another bachelor, another master, but having like little to no job experience and do exams at the university really prepare me for the life as an employee. I don't think so much. I mean, you, they teach you things that you can use, but most of them I didn't even touch. So why not starting to work right away? I hope I could give you a better understanding about the interview process, the job market, and that it is not so hard as it looks. You also don't need to worry about your skills because the company will teach you that. All they want from you is that you are ready to grow, like a little seed, a little sapling that's ready to become a big tree. And take small steps toward your goal, towards your goal, because there is no shortcut to whatever you want to become. Think of it as a progress bar. Every step you make is like a quest you have fulfilled. And nobody levels up his character to the max level in one moment. The journey is the reward. Now if you want to see more of these videos, uh, leave a comment in the comment section below. Take a like if it's good, a dislike if it's bad. I really would like to have some feedback on my talking, if it's too loud or too quiet for you. Because I also want to improve. And I wish you good luck and best wishes for the upcoming new year.